This set of notes is for section 1-1 and 1-2, or at least the first half of 1-1 and 1-2, solving one-step and two-step equations. Again, in the book, uh, which I'll do a video on how to access that, it's section 1-1 and 1-2. Uh, major concept in Algebra 1 is being able to solve an equation, solve an inequality, solve equations for other variables. It's a cornerstone piece of Algebra 1. And what I mean by uh, solving equations is what we're trying to do is find the number uh, that makes the equation true. We're trying to find the number that makes the equation true. That's what solving means. We're finding the number that makes the equation true. And to do that, we're going to use inverse operations, inverse operations. A lot of kids will say, well, it's just the opposite, which is close enough. So we'll go with it. For example, on number one, if we were to uh, read this, what number, that's X, what number plus five, what could you add to five that would equal seven? What number plus five is equal to seven? Well, that's obviously two. X would be equal to two. Two plus five is seven. Well, not all the equations are going to be as simple as you can just look at it and know the answer. So what we want to use are inverse operations to solve. What I mean by that is uh, this plus five is on the same side as the X, and I want to get X on a side by itself. So I want my equation at the end to read X equals, and to get rid of a plus five, I do the inverse or the opposite. The inverse of plus five is minus five. Whatever I do on one side of the equation, I do on the other. And of course, seven minus five is two. Two is the number that makes the equation true. For example, on number two, maybe we can't just look at this and know the answer. Maybe I don't know what number times negative two minus four is equal to negative 10. And I don't need to know the answer off the top of my head. What I need to be able to do is uh, perform inverse operations. So the opposite or inverse of minus four is plus four. To get rid of a minus four, I can add four. That would make those go away. Negative 2x equals negative 10 plus 4 is negative 6. Different signs subtract. That was covered in the first video. I need to do the inverse of times negative 2. To get rid of a multiply by negative 2, I can divide by negative 2. If I divide one side by negative 2, I need to divide the other side by negative 2. And of course, negative 6 divided by negative 2 is positive 3. 3 is the number that makes the equation true, meaning if I were to take 3, which is the answer, plug it back into the equation, I'll end up with a true statement. For example, two or negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. Negative 6 minus 4 is negative 10. 3 is the number that makes it true. On number 3, if it helps, put a line down the equal sign. I've... Uh, Mention to the kids that if it helps, you can box up the variable so you know what you need to move first. To get rid of a plus 7, you can subtract 7. The inverse or opposite of plus is minus. That's x divided by 3 equals 2 minus 7 is negative 5. To get rid of a divide by 3, x divided by 3, I need to multiply. So to get rid of a divide, I multiply. Whatever you do on one side, you do on the other. And that's x equals, sorry. That's x equal negative 15. Negative 15 is the number that makes it true. I hope that helps. Thanks.